In 1981, Wuha made his first and only foray into directing. The Lighthouse Gunman is the story of Shane Yoshaknesi, an 18-year-old IRA gunman on the run after the Easter Rising. In the lead role, Frank gave one of his most heartfelt performances. Shaney! Shaney, me boy! Shane! Oh, Jesus, Shaney, what have they done to you? They've done it, Shaney. You've beaten back the Black and Tans. They're giving us the Republic! And Peggy, she's well, Shaney. She's fine, Shaney. She's back in the parochial house. Oh, thank God. Oh. Tis cold I am, Father. You'll be fine, Cheney. You'll be fine. Oh, I'm dying, Father. Dying. No. Tis with the dead generations now. I lay, Father. Hey. Tis with my mother, Kathleen. Oh, oh, I see her, Father. She's waiting for me. Oh, oh, oh Kathleen. Here I come. Here I come. Our lighthouse, Shady. You've guided us to the darkest times. Surely you're the greatest man that ever lived. No, Father. I'm just... I'm just an Irishman. No, Shady. Surely he was the greatest Irishman of them all. From his breast burst forth a nation. Although he loved Ireland with all his heart, and often said he would give an arm and a leg to be back there even for just one day, the film was shot in its entirety in Cinecitta in Rome, and a back lot in Paramount Studios. He strongly identified with the legend of Usheen. And as I understand it, in this Irish myth, if Usheen sets foot in the land of his youth, he suddenly becomes an old man. He dies! And Frank was convinced that the same thing would happen to him if he ever returned to Ireland. The film, although somewhat popular in America, was not a critical success in Ireland. Parodied and lampooned mercilessly in the Irish press, the film drew hoots of laughter and snorts of derision at its world premiere at the Savoy in Dublin. Frank was cut to the quick. You have disgraced yourselves once again, he wrote to the Irish Times. Why must you torment your great artists in this barbaric way? Again and again you drive them away. Wild, Joyce... Beckett, and now me. Oh, it was, it was a knife in the heart. You know, he felt bitterly, savagely betrayed by his countrymen. And you know, for the rest of his life, he, he wouldn't look at an Irish person in the eyes. And I think that's perhaps why he never saw me again. Um, and also why he chose exile in the Bahamas. That and the, uh, the tax man. 